Folks, this is a video demonstration of the VMix control surface. You could get this from your uh, Apple App Store. I have not found it on the Android platform yet. It's only an iPad thing from what I understand. Anyway, you will download the app from the App Store and it costs you $5.99. I highly recommend it. And all you have to do is come over here to your settings on VMix. Wait till the window comes up. Go to Web Controller and that is the address for my personal uh, application there, so we'll cancel that out. When you load the app, it'll ask you for that web address. You simply type it in, and boom, you are active and controlling. It connects just that simple and easy. And you'll see here all my inputs are named. If you could read those, I got some aerial footage, uh, a guy named Glenn that was up there for a while. Um, and we're going to show you a little demonstration there. I got some uh, whatever see this is input 3 right now and if I slide it over here now it's input 2 and input 2 changed to Glenn it was listed at 3 now it's listed at number 2 there so it updates just that fast it's pretty cool when it does those kind of things um, so let's run some demonstrations we're gonna hot cut and I apologize for the shaky camera cell phone footage we're gonna hot cut to input 1 which is some nice looking aerial footage there we got some input number two, that's Glenn. And by the way, we'll go to overlays just for a quick second. Overlay seven is actually Glenn Johnson's overlay. So let's try that when that comes in. Input seven, and there's his lower third that pops in automatically. I pre-build my lower thirds in After Effects, and I pre-build them at nine seconds to automatically go away. So it's gonna go away on its own. I did not tell the vMix to take that away. So we just turn that overlay off then. If you've got another overlay, for example, there we go. That's not Siobhan. So we'll take that overlay away from him. If you want to go preview, there's your previews. Three, four, five. They all work really, really nice. We'll come back to one here. And you do have T-bar control really nicely, actually. You could do a really nice fade on... Uh, the vmix there or you could fade and bring it back at your leisure uh, the four in the four transitions are the transitions that you program fade merge slide cube or whatever you want to select or custom build your own I'm working on that and if you wanted the cube transition you do that and there's the cube or the slide in or the merge or the cut They all work pretty good. I really like them. Um, I highly recommend this app. Can't say enough good about it. I'm in love with it already. I just got it today. Hope you enjoyed. Leave any comments you got. Thanks.